We're looking for Herbert Chapman. I'm looking for him, too. I need him to move his car so I can mow the lawn. He's definitely not here. I've been banging on his door off and on for a couple of hours. Yeah, he's out somewhere. Is there some kind Let's of problem? Let's take a look at the car. You find her if you tell him to shift that goddamn jalopy. Let's see what he's hauling around. Definitely gives him opportunity. Motive, opportunity, and hard evidence. the APB. He's clearly armed. Holy cool. There he is. It's Chapman. He's coming out of the laundromat. Shit. He's seen us. Cops. Again. Son of a bitch. He must have caught the trolley. We gotta move fast, Cole. I'll call this in, get some cars dispatched. Car 11K calling KGPL. 11K requesting assistance. In pursuit of suspect aboard the 1110 University streetcar. Currently heading east on Melrose Avenue. Advise all units. Suspect is in control of car and driving dangerously. Stay on his ass, Cole. Don't lose him. See if he can damage one of the wheels. Might act like a brake and slow the thing down. It's no good! We need to get closer! Hold him tight, Cole. As soon as he ditches the tram, we'll be there to grab him. End of the line, you little prick. Come on, Cole. Like we have our man, Cole. Well done. I'm not so sure. Chapman seemed to have his own agenda. There seems to be more to this than a personal vendetta. What are you talking about? The fires benefit a lesion in some way. I don't see Chapman and Monroe working together. You have a point. The evidence is good for Chapman. It's hard to be worrying about his side of the story when he's blasting away with that big 45. Nice work, gentlemen. Put yourself at considerable risk stopping that trolley and probably saved a lot of lives. Anyone else but you, Phelps, and you'd be up for a bravery award. We've had our eyes on that slippery son of a bitch Chapman for as long as I can remember. I couldn't be happier than to wipe him off the scoreboard. I hope this puts to bed that crazy stuff you had going about Leland Monroe. What were you thinking, Phelps? be calling Richard Nixon a crook next. 